Hey, this is Mike from the One Stop Co-op Shop, here to talk about a Kickstarter game that I'm so excited to tell you about, Uprising Curse of the Last Emperor. But first, a quick reminder that we never receive compensation for our Kickstarter coverage. We just want to help you decide if the game is for you. When I first heard about Uprising and found out that it was a 4X fully co-op fantasy game, my mind was blown because at least I've never heard of or played anything like that. I really enjoy 4X games in theory, but I find it kind of tough to get them to the table and they tend to be a little too bloodthirsty for me. So does Uprising's take on empire building and combat fix those problems for me? Let's discuss. So first let's get into the things I like, and one of the big ones is the faction variety. You have four different factions in the core game, each with a unique set of units, but on top of that you have two different heroes for each faction, and each of those heroes has a unique set of cards that really change up the way the game plays, really make the units feel different, give you different tricks, give you different ways to earn resources. It's just a nice way to add variety to the game, letting you try out different things each time. I also really like the way the game handles combat. It's really quick to resolve, other players don't have to wait around forever while you do it, but the mix of dice colors from different units, the different types of enemies you can face, and a big one, the terrain effects, which can totally shift the way a battle plays out, make combat fast and furious, and for me, a lot of fun. I also really enjoy the core action system of the game. Each player only does one or two quick things on their turn, so it goes at a nice clip as players take their actions. But what's really great is the variety of viable actions available to you. You can spend actions to get extra resources to make a bigger army. You can spend actions to buy items to give you recurring powers for the rest of the game. You can go on quests, giving you a random chance to have a major effect for both you and your partners. It's just a really nice streamlined system system that still gives you a lot of strategic options. I also have to come back to the fact that this is a fully cooperative 4X empire building game, which for me gets rid of a lot of the worst parts of 4X games. I don't feel terrible when I win a fight by a huge margin, like I'm beating up on my opponent. And if someone hits me hard and I'm lagging behind, the other players can help to boost me up, which they actually need to do for everyone to win. You don't have any awkward king making or anything like that. And the last thing I want to highlight, some Something I really love is the enemies you face. You have these two separate empires, this undead horde coming from the outside and the corrupt imperial forces on the inside. They play differently, they have these huge boss units that come out and you have to face in epic battles. It's just so cool and so much fun, kind of takes the variety of the factions and even amps it up to give you variety in your opposition. So clearly I love a lot about the game, but there are some things you might want to think about before you decide to back it. First of all, there is a pretty good potential for swinginess and randomness, not only in the dice combat and dice for quests, but also in which enemy units come out, and some of them might activate somebody else that immediately destroys one of your bases. So you do have to be ready for a decent amount of randomness here, although there are a lot of ways to mitigate it too. Second, while as I said, there are ways to mitigate the luck and the other players can help help each other out. Still, if you lose a huge battle or have a really bad run of luck, you can get in a victory point hole that's really tough to dig out of, and this will especially happen the first few times you play. So just a warning, this game can be brutal, and when you play it, be ready to lose and maybe even only play half of a game the first few times until you learn the ropes. Finally, a quick note, just so you have your expectations in the right spot. The factions are different, but they're not crazy different. This isn't StarCraft. This isn't Root. They still do generally the same things, just with their own tricks and own focuses in units. So I think it's good enough and still a lot of fun. But if you want, like, drastic asymmetric differences, the game doesn't give that. Overall, Uprising is pretty amazing. It's a game that I had no idea I wanted, but once I played it, I was like, yes, Cooperative 4X. I didn't know I needed this in my life. If you're down for an epic empire building experience with streamline, but still really clever mechanics, and as long as you don't mind some dice and card luck, and don't mind learning the ropes and losing horribly your first few times, I think Uprising could be a huge hit for just about anybody. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.